Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Demon 54 and yes, this is another tutorial on how to install and run WCW Feel the Bang version 1.0. Uh, if you're watching this video right now and there's probably a latest version of the game, you probably need to dis disregard this video. Um, don't worry about it because hopefully the latest version simplifies the, the, the installation and uh, you'll be able to run it more easily easily than this version because this version is a pain in the ass and uh and it took me a while to figure it out i think some people are still having uh problems running it so this is why uh this video is kind of like a little bit better from the other tutorials uh because even in those uh, old tutorials they there were some steps missing and um some people are still having problems running it so Hopefully, in this one, I have everything corrected, and, um, you know, I, I, I don't, I, I'm just a guy that, that, um, try to, try to find, or uh, try to make a better tutorial, so, hopefully, uh, I'll lead you guys the way. Um, first thing you guys need to do is, uh, download the game. You guys need to go to this website. I will link that website in the, in the description below and everything else. Um, go to this website. Register. You guys need to register because that's how I did it to get to this download page. Uh, once you're in here, uh, there are two parts to your download. It is optional to get only one of them, which is the main game, because uh, that's all you need really. The second part is a music tool that runs in tandem with the emulator, uh, you know, with the music stuff in the background, because uh, otherwise uh, you'll be playing the game without the music. It's just the sound effects. Uh, which is fine if you want to just play the game right away. But if you want the full experience, I recommend you guys download both parts. Once you have that downloaded, uh, you guys need to go to that, uh, whatever, wherever place it is that you downloaded. Um, in my case, I, I put it under downloads folder. It, it could be different than yours. So, um, you, you guys need to figure out where, um, you know the, the directory of that web browser that you guys are using and um the zip files you need to extract it using like something like 7-zip that's what i use to extract win war is fine too uh once you have that extracted um already remove the contents of those zip files and move it elsewhere so it's really important that you, you know if you're like me uh are you trying to move certain downloads to a certain location to your computer, remember that location because uh, we're, we're going to need to use it to um, configure in the emulator uh, later on. So in one of the, the zip files, you will have something like WCW Fill the Bang. This is actually a folder, so they just changed the icon to make it look cool, I guess. Um, and, and then you double-click it, you go to here. This is like the full content of the folder um you already have the emulator project 64 is a version 2 uh it's already in here so you don't have to download it it's already like a complete package you get the game right here this is the game that you're going to be running and um everything else the the folders this is pretty much your directory settings um and again this is really important that you guys remember where you download your stuff to you know based on the location that you put it uh, before we get into the project 64 there is one important thing that you guys need to do once you're in this folder go to the search and uh you need to cop copy this exact uh like words or copy this part here on the top I apologize for the screen to be like far away uh, I don't know how to zoom <laughs> but this is the the exact name of that file that you're trying to delete normally it will come up I've already deleted it because it's it's a um, it, it, it caused a lot of issues running certain programs later uh, but once you find that it's in the textures folder, if you guys are wondering where it is exactly. 
It's one of the textures folder. I don't remember if it's in the textures itself or texture save. All right, but it's that. But this thing you need to de delete it. All right, remove it from that uh, zip file. Uh, and then once you have that removed, then you can run Project Sixty Four. All right, once you have that open, you guys need to go to the options and then settings. And uh, in the settings, you need to go to directories. And this is really important. Do not copy what I have here. Do not use whatever uh, default zip file thing it's already assigned to. You guys need to reassign these directories to your you know to to where you put it on your computer all right because if you if if you don't put it in the right spot you will not find that game it will not find the files needed it's gonna you're gonna have errors all right once you have that uh set up like plugins save i've i put saves under one save folder it's all here there's saves plugin screenshots texture all right they're all there and uh, once you have that set up, uh, everything else, you, need, you don't need to worry about all these other ones here. Alright. So, uh, the second thing you need to do is uh, configure your controller. I'm using a Wire360 controller. Uh, yours could be different. Alright. Uh, once you have that set up, then you can uh, open the ROM. And uh, this is the ROM that we're going to be opening. It's labeled WCW Fill the Bang Roster Tool dot ROM. And you open that up. And uh, and if, if you set your directories correctly, then this should work. It should go in the game. You're, you're pretty much done. You're able to play the game without the music, though. All right. But if you want the full experience, you want the music... You guys need to continue watching this video. Uh, otherwise, happy gaming from here on. Uh, but if you guys want the full experience, just keep watching the video. Uh, this is the next step here, the the music tool. All right, there's a couple of things that you need to do. Um, once you get to the screen, you need to leave this emulator open in the background. Don't close it. Don't exit out. Um, leave this screen open. Don't worry about it. But you do you do need to go uh, open your browser and in Google uh, type in Cheat Engine, and uh, I'll probably link the the website to download this program to your computer in the in the description below. And once you have that downloaded, all right, you need to open up that uh, Cheat Engine program, and um, once. Uh, if you have your, your 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 controller should be configured already. So whatever that Z button is on your controller, uh, just hold it for right now. So yeah, as you notice on the screen, uh, in the the screen in the background, it says in the value box, type this. Um, just hold down the Z button. That's the value we're gonna type type in in Cheat Engine F A F A, All right? So, uh, in the cheat engine, you need to go to this computer, and then you need to go find the process list that is your emulator that's running in the background right now. It should say WWF No Mercy. It says WWF No Mercy on the top. So that's the one you wanna you wanna open, and then you, it should be open in the background right now. You're you're kind of like in that uh, in the program itself. Next, you need to check on the box as hex, the value. You need to change that to FAFA. -A. That's the the line that um, uh, in that value that we're going to uh, look up when we do our first scan. Um, right here, before we do the first scan, you need to change the value type to, to two bytes. All right, and then uh, once you have this set up. Then click on first scan, and uh, you should have like a lot of results. In my case, uh, this is how much I'm getting, but um, up to this point, 
they say you should have only like one or two results. Mine's never like that. I have to search the shit. And this is really the, the, the difficult part. Uh, it's because um, when we are holding down the Z button on your controller, uh, we're going to look for that particular address that, that changes the value as you're pressing it. Luckily, mine's at the bottom. All right, we're looking for something that like like this that's in red text, all right? So if I let go of the Z button, it should say red. It, it, it should be red, and it should say the value say F F F F. All right, so we found the address. All right, just add it to the bottom here so you don't uh, you know you you don't lose it. Next. If you're on like Windows 10, which I am right now, uh, go to your calculator. Alright, and then make sure it's you set it to uh, hex. Alright, this is really important. Let me move this somewhere else. Because you need to type in this in the calculator. So, 80... 60 and then like four zeros after that and then you need to minus uh minus the value that's in the address it, it, it could be different it's not the same it's always different and you guys need to do this every fucking time you start the game so whenever you shut down your computer you turn it back up the next day you need to the the value changes and this is the, this kind of like the tedious thing. But once you have this figured out, it, 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 sh it should be easy peasy. All right. So, uh, you enter the the address like so, and then enter. And this is the 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 hex. Uh, uh, that th th this is like the code, pretty much the address that you're gonna need to enter in in the in that second zip folder so we're gonna put this to the side for now uh you can close the cheat engine at this point uh you don't need to save because the value changes all the time uh your emulator just leave us just leave it in the background like leave it right in the background to minimize it all right remember your second download or uh, second zip for uh, file that you extracted it should say roster tool. Open that up. And then you need to go find settings. Uh, this is your configuration file. Open that up. Uh, it should open up in uh, Notepad. And right where it says mem offset, uh, you need to delete all the way up to X. Leave OX on. In that line this is where you need to take out the calculator and enter should try to make this easier easier to see all right so uh, enter uh, after OX enter the the hex result on your calculator that's that's what you're gonna be entering in the notepad uh, I think their case says so, so just write down exactly. Alright, once you have that done, save it. File, and then save. Alright, and then you can close that now. And then run the roster tool. Once you have that open, it's going to run it in the background. Because your emulator is still in the background. In the red text, if it says offset correct, you 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 got it working. And all you gotta do is check on enable music mod, and it's gonna like everything else it should be working fine. But you need to have this running in the background, so just minimize it. And you're pretty much done. Just press A on your controller. It takes you to this. Uh, takes you to the game. Music working in the background. Um, I'm gonna run. Uh, I'm gonna run a match just so you guys can see how it's like. It's an amazing game, guys. An amazing mod. 
And uh, so this is uh, the roster. Some of the characters are locked. Uh, but if you go to the in the main menu, there's challenges. Uh, there, there's basically like like instructions on how to lock them, and you have to in that challenge screen you have to accept the challenge based on whatever difficulty you have the game set up to. Uh, most of those challenges are in hard difficulty, by the way. Uh, it's pretty challenging if you're like you know if if you're just a casual, it might be uh, casual this game, then it might be difficult. Oh, uh, we'll fight. Uh, I, I want to use Hulk Hogan, but I'm going to pick Eric Bischoff since I already locked him prior. The texture looks amazing, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's a, it's a really good mod. Alright, so this is the entrance right here, right? Um, Once uh, it, it gets stuck in the screen, don't worry, it's not broken or anything. But in order to see the entrance, you have to press Z to to see the entrance. Because if you if you press A, you're gonna skip the entrance and uh, the entrance for that wrestler entirely, and it'll skip to the next one. But if you want to see the entrance, you have to press Z. That's I know it's tedious, but that's just the way they had it set up for right now in version 1.0. And then you press A to like skip to the next one. Same deal, you have to press Z. And uh yeah. But once you get into the game, the in game there there is no there is no music. It's just the, the sound effects and the rest of this is I think this is normal here. But um I don't know the tricks and the shortcuts of this yet. Um I haven't done a lot of research on like what they are. And um, I, I ho hopefully someone in the YouTube comments uh, will tell you what other shortcuts maybe. But yeah, this is this is pretty much it. This is the this is the game. This is the mod uh, of uh, you know it, it's it's a lot better. I I, I can't really uh, say much. Other than like you know, just try it out. And if you're one of those guys that are, are having trouble running this, uh, hopefully I got got your game working on your on your computer. Um, if not, if you're running into options, just comment, and I'll hopefully myself or someone in the comments will answer that for you. And um, yeah, <coughs> that's that, that's pretty much it, man. I was up freaking long ass tutorial i don't know but uh, if you guys uh got it running on your computer please let me know um you guys did it uh give this video a thumbs up rating if you guys like the tutorial um yeah i am tired i'm gonna go sleep now <laughs> you guys uh have a wonderful day see you guys on the next video